Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tyler and I'm back with another video. I'm really loving my setup right now. I spent like at least 30 minutes trying to get the lighting and everything just right. So I'm really happy with how it looks. So today I wanted to show you guys my updated curly hair routine because I have been under quarantine for almost three months and I've just been in the house looking like this. I've been looking like Felicia from Friday. I need to borrow your car right quick. What kind of shit is that? Most people want to borrow sugar. They even ketchup. You want to borrow my car? Hell no. The hell on. Well, let me borrow a joint. You need to borrow a job with your broke ass. Always trying to smoke up somebody's shit. The hell on, Felicia. I'm going to remember that. Remember it. Write it down. Take a picture. I don't give a fuck. But I'm going to show you guys a new curly hair routine and hopefully you guys will try it out because I think that it is bomb. Okay, so my hair is freshly washed. I washed it last night and I just left some of this leave-in conditioner in it last night. This is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil with shea butter, peppermint, and apple cider vinegar. This is a really good leave-in conditioner. It just smells really, really good. It's super moisturizing and it's just... It's just that leave-in conditioner. So I have some of this left in my hair from last night. I'm gonna start on this side of my hair and then we'll work on this section after we're done with this side. So I need y'all to comment below if y'all like the, like this setup. Like if y'all like the background, if y'all want me to film this way from now on when I do like my little hair videos because I really, really like it. So I'm gonna start on this side of my hair. And yeah, this leave-in just leaves my hair like super, super soft. I'm just running my hand straight through my hair. It's completely detangled, so there are no knots. So I love that. So I'm gonna use the Cantu Shea Butter Moisturizing Curl Activator Cream. This is a major key, super moisturizing. Yeah, I'm gonna just spray this side of my hair. So I'm gonna take some of the can too, but I'm only going to use like the smallest amount because this stuff is very, very moisturizing and I feel like if you overdo it, you can mess up the wash and go. I'm only gonna take like the smallest amount and maybe this is too much, but like if y'all can see that, that amount because it's super moisturizing. You don't need a lot of this stuff and I'm just going to work it in my hair. And when I'm using this product specifically, I really like to focus it on the back part of my hair because that is like the driest part of my hair and um, I really want this part, like this back piece back here to be like moisturized. So I really focus it heavy in this area because this is like the driest part of my hair.
Okay, so we got the first product in. So I really just like to take a good amount of time just raking all of the product through my hair, just making sure that each strand of my hair is fully coated with the product. So I kind of just go over it and over it and over it and over it again until I feel like okay it's good enough or to my liking i should say now i'm going to go in with the shea moisture coconut and hibiscus curl enhancing smoothie and y'all know i've used this product a million times on my channel i'm sorry i just can't stop using it it's really really good this helps to moisturize it also gives your hair a curl definition and it's also for people who have thick curly hair so me i have thick curly hair so i am literally hmm, i hate when i see like hair in my product like ugh, get out so i'm gonna take another small amount because this stuff is really really thick and it's really hydrating so you don't want to overdo it you don't want to overdo it make sure that your hair is really really wet make sure your hair is drenched in water i feel like the wetter your hair the better because i just feel like the product just it just glides in there better and then when it dries it just dries so beautifully so make sure that your hair is really really wet get you a spray bottle and spray your hair down oh my goodness like this stuff is really like clumping my curls already if you want like that clumpy curl look this is the product for you i'm really gonna focus this product on like the crown of my hair too the back part of my hair is just like the frizziest the driest so i have to spend more time on the back than i do the front because i don't know my hair just doesn't like to cooperate in the back. So this is what my hair is looking like right now. So all of the product is in my hair right now. So I'm gonna do this side off of camera. It's, I'm basically going to be doing the exact same thing that I did on this side onto this side. So I will be back in a flash. Okay, so the last product that I'm going to use in my hair is this Aussie Miracle Curls Curl Refresher. I really, really love this stuff. So I just spray a decent amount of this product in my hair. I feel like it just does a good job of like holding everything together. Oh my God, can y'all see the definition? Can y'all see it? Okay, so I'm really loving how my hair is looking when it's wet. So that means that it's gonna dry perfectly. But right now it is two o'clock and my hair is probably gonna take like two or three hours to dry. So my guess is like 4 30, 5 o'clock. It probably won't be fully dry. So once my hair is fully dry, I will come back to you guys and I will show you guys the final result. Do y'all see my hair right now? A moment of silence, please.
My hair is 100% dry and these are my results. Now you could leave your hair like this if you wanted to, but I'm a person who really loves volume. I love big hair. So I'm gonna take my pick and I'm going to pick it out. I usually just kind of like start from like the side here and I'll go like underneath and like just pick it out just a little bit, not too much. Um, because it's gonna get bigger over time anyways. So you don't wanna like overdo it with the picking, but just enough just to give you like a little bit of volume because my hair is just kind of short for me, but like already you can see like the volume. And then to finish everything off, I'm just going to spray my hair with this olive oil nourishing sheen spray. It's infused with coconut oil. So I'm just gonna spray this on my hair just to give it like the shine and the hold that it needs, even though I'm not going anywhere. These are the curls up close. So I just wanna give you guys, I wanna show you guys up close and personal, like my hair for real. So you can see like the definition is crazy, super soft. Oh my goodness, I love them. I love how my hair turned out. So I did decide to switch my part from the middle part. I really wasn't feeling the middle part, so I just switched it before my hair completely dried. And I feel like this looks a lot better. So even though I don't have anywhere to go for people to see this amazing wash and go, I still feel really good about myself because I have been feeling kind of down these last couple of weeks during the quarantine. But this has definitely made me feel better about myself and it has definitely boosted my confidence because I feel like when my hair looks good, I feel good. So yeah, that's just a tip for you guys. So if you guys like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Bye.